So a guy named Elston Stevenson, he goes by the nickname Swede, is the safety and health manager at Grand Canyon National Park. He came to us with a story that was at first unbelievable, uh, and that was that for years, uranium had been stored in three five-gallon buckets inside of a museum collections building at the park, and that tourists and sometimes school kids and employees of the park had been exposed to this uranium, uh, the radiation being, in some cases, hundreds of times more than what the federal government considers as a safe level for individuals. And his story was that he had tried to get park officials to deal with this and to notify the public and notify employees about it, and he had failed. And he'd gone so far as to go to the inspector general, he'd called in OSHA and they sent a team up there, and he called in, all. he went to all of his Congress people, and still there was no public notice about this and he finally turned to the newspaper to do it. One of the most mind-blowing parts of this whole story is that when he called up National Park Service experts and asked them to come in and deal with this, they sent a couple of guys who didn't have protective gear. They actually went to a general store at the Grand Canyon and bought dishwashing gloves to use to protect their hands. They took a broken mop handle, lifted the buckets into a truck, drove the truck to a uh, uranium mine on the south rim, dumped it, and then they brought the buckets back to the storage room and left them there. So the next step in this process aren't entirely clear. What we know is Grand Canyon National Park and the National Park Service and OSHA and Arizona's regulatory agency for radiation are all looking at this, investigating it, I assume trying to figure out whether they need to notify the public further, what steps next need to be taken. But, but none of that's clear right now. We're basically waiting to see what happens next.